that would be illegal. <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay. Uh, but yeah, Thalia, Rattletail, and more Taurus. Uh, they all, like, they knock on the door, and then they walk in. Uh, Thalia is the first to speak up. Question. Oh, God, I, I forgot how I did her voice. I think she's Russian. No, is she Russian? Yeah, she sounded Russian. I must ask a question of all of you. I can't really do it right today. I'm getting tired. Uh, I'm going to have to work on that accent. But suffice to say, she's <laughs> asking... Uh, you have not set up proper lodgings for some of us the the crew of the most of the crew is living with their families we were kind of wondering where we are supposed to be sleeping while we are taking this uh break from voyaging hey that's another thing we need to get by. this is out of character by the way <clears throat> yeah, houses are expensive. What about a bunkhouse? I don't know. I don't know what would constitute that. I mean... Barracks? Maybe a barracks, which is more expensive than housing a house, but it would hold more people. And we don't, have enough, no group we don't have enough money option? to hold that. Is there an option for, like, a tenement? I think there is. I think I kind of think tenements would just build themselves. I'd say it'd be a, yeah, the, pretty much that's what most people are living in. That's... There is a tenement though. It's one be build build piece. Uh, is that zero months? Yeah. What's weird yeah. though is, is that requires a hundred population. So that's assuming that you have overpopulation. Yep. Like. You'd have well, you'd normally have a tenements city. or public housing units are basically apartments or like yeah. a bunk, like a bunkhouse, but there is doesn't appear to be anything well, like that. Oh, no, normally. Well, you do have aren't. a quite a bit of rooms in this mansion. No, how many? So how much of a apply a temporary policy of housing within public buildings, kind of? Well, this is a mansion, so. Well, at the moment, right, at the, the mansion moment, is currently public, acting as yeah. the civic center, so it mm -hmm. technically, at the moment, is a public building. It's a mix of both. Yeah. I would, yeah, I would agree that there's there should be enough room here for us to house house them. It's not we aren't we aren't trying to set ourselves up as rulers by being here. So, <clears throat> I think it would be a good show of of. Uh, Unity. Leadership and unity. If we opened up for our, opened it up for the crew to stay here until we can get some proper housing built. Okay. Oh, uh, most of the uh, just to inform you, there, Captain. Most of the crew they have uh, already moved back in with our families. It's just pretty much our mercenaries. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm fine. As long as they're, they're asking, there. basically, can you hold? Can you? Uh, can they bunk with you guys? Like, can they sleep here <laughs> instead of like I'm sleeping on the ship? I'm certainly fine with that. I don't think I. I mean, it's up to the rest of the party. I'm fine with that. I, mean... I have no objections. Though I guess it is time that we. He's basically talking to only you guys right now. I, I think, well, we have most of the uh, people who have some pull, well, at least with amongst us mm -hmm. and our crew. I should explain some things to everyone. I nod. And you watch as he just kind of takes a deep breath. 
he rises from the t- uh, rises from his seat at the table. I would like to explain to you all that um, some things about me. The voice you are hearing my head in your heads is nothing to be alarmed. It is just myself, and you watch as he's gesturing towards himself, speaking to you. I do not have the means to speak verbally anymore. It is, as I've realized now with Miss Morgana's assistance, uh, a part of being, I believe it is called a warlock. It is something I struggle with. Whatever entity has granted me these powers and you watch as he like kind of manipulates some of the magic within his hands it is not known to this world and as of right so far we have ever seen it is not hostile it does take over my body at times and I am not in control of my facilities at that time. If this is something that any of you are uncomfortable with, I understand. <clears throat> Gammon stands and says that this is, I vouch for, uh, gosh, what can I think of names all of a sudden? Golomov. I, I vouch for Golomov. Uh, Until this, the, uh, the, the, uh, Entity has spoke directly to me and uh, has spoke in favor of of our group, at least at the time. And I can also... Alia raises her hand. Is this something that we need to be wary of? As far as I'm aware, no. No, you don't, Alia. It's never caused us any harm. It's only. Mortar. It's actually Mortar. only helped us. Mortaris raises his hand. Is it something that the great Mortaris. Is this is how he shall be speaking to us? Then, I assume. Galama, yes. That's how he be speaking to us. That is slightly unsettling. You'll get used to it. You watch as uh, Morgana kind of raises her hand shyly. Gammon yeah, acknowledges her. You, you, you said that you have no idea what the entity is, and it has taken your voice. That is correct. I mean, she should know because he talked to her before. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, he's never acknowledged it to her. Mm. I, I do have some experience with warlocks. If you do need any assistance understanding what this entity, as you call it, is, I am here to provide some assistance. I... That would be appreciated. And Golanov? If you ever need it, you need help with something. Don't hesitate to ask. <clears throat> Gammon puts his hand on his shoulder and says, You have my trust. Thank you. Thank you all. I. I believe it's time we all retire uh, for the evening. Phil agrees as he lets out a kind of a little yawn. And with that, we wrap up the session. Have a good night, everyone. That is the end of this D&D section. Have a good night and good luck.